It is day 44 of the WGA strike, and today, under the banner of screenwriters everywhere, solidarity events took place in dozens of countries around the globe as writers from Canada, the UK, South Korea, Spain, and even Ukraine showed support for their American counterparts. With the latest from the picket lines, we're joined by entertainment attorney and freelance journalist Jonathan Handel, who's with us every week for an update on where we're at as this thing drags on. So uh, where are we at uh, this week compared to last week? Uh, pretty similar place in some ways. Um, SAG-AFTRA started negotiating last week. We've learned that um, Fran Drescher, the president of the Actors Union, sort of read a bit of the riot act to the companies and said, the jig is up. The jig is up. You're going to have to negotiate with us. So they're taking is that your nanny impression. That is, that's the best I can do. Okay. <laughs> it's certainly the best I'm going to try to do, right. put it that yeah. way. But um, you know, so we, as far as we know, we still have a strong position being taken by the Screen Actors Guild, SAG AFTRA, which suggests that we will have a second strike uh, come July 1st, the expiration of the contract. Uh, the writers are still out on the line and uh, have exhibited worldwide solidarity, as Marla just pointed out. And then the directors, there is some pushback among members uh, uh, towards the Directors Guild deal, the deal that was reached uh, a week ago or so. Uh, we do expect the deal to be ratified, though, uh, about two weeks from now. Okay, so really no real big difference from our discussion last week. Uh, Disney, however, though, is sort of delaying, not sort of, but is delaying their theatrical schedule because of the strike. So do you foresee that other studios will, and here's a look at some of those that have been delayed, Captain America 4, Blade, mm -hmm. you see them right there on your screen. Do you foresee, foresee that other studios will follow suit and will we see a schedule that's completely bare? Well, the attempt is to ensure that there is no bare, there are no bare spots, as it were. So uh, that's why you see the uh, cycling of the schedule and the pushing of, uh, of uh, movies from point to point and day to day. It's very tough uh, because, you know, so much goes into advanced planning in terms of marketing for movies. And uh, this summer with, uh, you know, some people are looking forward to Barbie, some are looking forward to... Uh, the Oppenheimer movie, some are looking forward to both. In, in my case, you know, there's, uh, there's hope that there will be an increase in domestic box office, which has been still been below yeah. pre-pandemic levels, as you know. Indiana Jones, too, going to be a big hit. Indiana Jones, absolutely, That's and I'm looking forward out. to that, They're too. A, a premiere of that tonight. So right. uh, another big thing that just happened in the last week in New York was the Tony Awards. At first, there was discussion of not doing the Tony Awards because of uh, the WGA strike. Then they reached a deal to do it essentially without writers. Um, how did that go? And is, could this be a model for other events, maybe the Emmys or other things going forward? Well, it's harder when you talk about the Emmys, which are an event about the TV industry. The Tonys, of course, uh, playwrights are not represented by the Writers Guild. They're part of the Dramatists Guild. So the issue there was the ceremony itself. Mm -hmm. As you point out, they proceeded without the written script. Uh, uh, I've been getting inquiries uh, from San Diego from, journal, from a journalist down there who just wrote about Comic-Con and mm -hmm. was asking the question of whether the actors, if they do go on strike, are going to be down there promoting their movies uh, next month which is a, a very big deal for movies, uh, you know, Marvel and DC movies in particular. Sure. And the answer is probably not. Just as we see the Writers Guild taking the position that writers can't promote uh, shows for the Emmys, I would expect that we'd see sag after taking the position that actors, if they, if they strike, uh, cannot be rendering marketing services to mm -hmm. the studios, including uh, Comic-Con. And that deadline is June 30th. That That's we will know in terms of sag after whether they're going to hit the picket lines or not. That's right, unless okay. there's a day-by-day by day extension, but the contract does expire June 30th, that's right. Wow, do you think that there is an Emmy Awards in September here on Fox 11? Well, my hope is that there is, but I, you know, I, I think it's uh, touch and go, quite frankly. Wow. Wow. Which that gives you a sense of how long this thing could go. Yeah. Jonathan, great to see you. Hopefully you bring better you. news next week. I'm gonna work on it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs>